they had to come back after this evening's matches to finish off their match with Kun Zhang leading by nine frames to eight. He needs just one frame to move into the second round. So we join him in the 18th with Deshawet at the table on a break of 34 and a chance to win. Tough. It was always tough, and not only has he missed it, he's left it. So, Steve McGuire <laughs> comes to the table. He needs brown, blue, and pink to take us into a decider. He had his chance. Dead you up, but that was a tough brown. Do you believe it? Yeah. That's incredible, isn't it? What you see happening in the crucible. Uh. What pressure does. Well, the way, the unnatural way to play to get on the blue here is to play this with top and right hand side to come off three cushions for the blue to the right center. I don't fancy the, the stun in it with left hand side. <laughs> He's given himself a good talking to. Yep, and I think the shot you said is, is the way you'd play it to be guaranteed position. But it's just the the difficulty of the pot, really. But here we go. It looks like he's playing it low, so he's playing the stun. It wouldn't be the way I'd go, but... Mm. Can't decide the best way to play it. Trying to clear his mind. <laughs> but as I say, uh, he shared every emotion with the the crowd. And we all know what he's going through and what he's feeling. And in the end, decided to play safe. <laughs> decided not to take the risk. And it's not a bad save to shot. It's not bad. Stephen Maguire has got to get this safe. When all things considered, that's pretty good. Yeah, it'll be a similar type shot here from Deshawat. Brown round the angles, cue ball. Somewhere behind the black. Oh. <coughs> mm. Now, a chance for Stephen Maguire. Not to pot the brown, I'm not thinking about that, but to get control of the situation. Try and get this cue ball in behind the, the black. Overhit it. But he's got a good length with the brown, so it's not going to be an easy safety shot for Dechua. He's thinking the blue and pink could be the blocker here. He hasn't got the snooker, but he's got a good cue ball. Yeah, that was an excellent safety. Deliberately played the brown up and down the table twice. Mm. 
done without the bump of the middle pocket, but I don't think it's a brown that he will take on. And if he plays the up and down set, he's got to be careful of the double kiss here. Tense moments. This match has now been going for just over seven hours. And we still don't really know who the winner will be. Or as we know at the moment, that Stephen Maguire has got to get this brown safe. In angle, but surely it's too thin to, to risk the pot. And we decided to have a go. Now is the pink going to come to his rescue? I think it has. It has. He's got the snooker. Not a difficult one to hit, but as we always say, not so much hitting them, can you get them safe? Now the ideal way of hitting this is to come off the two cushions and if you can hit the brown full in the face you'll knock it up the table and the cue ball will stay at this end. Played it well, played it well, he's waving it on, he's waving it on. He'll be happy with that. Yeah, I've seen Maguire was hoping that Deshawa was going to be making some mistakes due to nerves. It's not happening. His safety has been excellent in this exchange. This time he's not got the the snooker and it's an easy safety shot double the brown across twice try to get it in behind the the black and use the blue and pink as a snookering ball as well oh he's not hit it hard enough that's a weak shot at such a vital time that's a very weak safety Take us to a decider. Well, I can't believe he played that cannon, do you, John? Well, I suppose, really, if you don't play the cannon, you're going to be left with a difficult blue. Maybe he thought, I'll take the chance. Ten. Yeah, I suppose it was a big target to cannon, either blue or pink, I suppose. Get the cue ball in that area. But he'd be a bit disappointed he's not left his pink straight. You don't expect him to miss it, but the pressure's on. Drama at the Crucible. Stephen Maguire, what a shot this was. Pots the brown. Needed the cannon on the pink. Would he get it? If he didn't, he wouldn't be on the blue. Just caught the pink. And now both players prepare for a decider. It's nine apiece. Well, I promised you late night drama. It goes into a deciding frame. Deshawad, can he cause a huge upset? He's back at the table. No balls potted yet. <laughs> Under hit it. Only just reached the bolt line. 
That's not good enough. Stephen's looking to see if he makes a cannon on one of these reds below the black. There's a chance of staying on the black to the right corner. There's not much of a path to get the cue ball back up the other end of the table here. Feel this is all out. Go for the black. Well, he did get the cannon, but those reds disturbed the black. If that red had just missed the black, he may have been okay. Now there's a red near the left corner. Be a brave man to take the blue on. But he played a brown in the last frame, which was. Green ball. Well, he's playing the green. I think he's playing the pot on the green. He's not holding back. Well, I was going to say he was lucky Stephen to. Guarma. The green to move that red, but has he completely got away with it? He knows he didn't hit that well. There was a lot of tension in the arm there. Mm, there might be a chance of potting this red, cannon into the two reds just to the left of the black. And beyond the black. Well played. Well played indeed. Well, that was an excellent shot to keep still him. He must be shaking inside of this final frame to keep steady there. The only thing is, I think the black spot's covered now, so the black may have to go up to the green spot. Yep, and you can see black's going to go up to the bulk area. So that's probably the only negative to do with that shot he just played. Decide to play the the red that's occupying the black spot. Eight. And clear the black spot. Be a bit risky to play for the black off this red. But he could do. No, I think he's just going to stand up and play for the blue. Nine. But he's not hard enough. And if he's not hard enough, you wonder where the next red will come from if he wants to play the blue. <coughs> no, it looks like the brown's the only colour that would give him position of any kind on a red. But he's going for it. He's staying positive. Trust his technique. It's as simple as that. I'm not quite certain what he's doing here. Fourteen. 
on the jump shot, wasn't he? Well, absolutely. And how well has that worked out? He's on the black. You see, raising the button in the air so he could actually jump the cue ball. It's not a foul shot. Made contact with the red before the cue ball left the table. He's got a few shots in his armory, hasn't he? in that red but it's not turned out too bad look at it he's knocked over the corner once again he apologizes to Stephen Maguire 21 can Stephen see the funny side of it <laughs> well nobody can say he's not been positive in this final frame Two. Maybe we'd like a little bit more angle on the black than this to really go into that cluster. It's, well, those two reds just on the right hand side, certainly they're available into the right middle if he doesn't want to play the cannon. Depends how he sees it. happy with that one that was what the bang was for well he's getting everybody involved including us Stephen well, I, did a a cannon. I know look at as our red in the middle of the pack here did he play for this does it go can't believe what's happening here. I'm sure Deshawatt played a cannon when he played that previous shot from the black. Ended up with a red in the middle of the pack. Played a deep screw, landed straight in the green in the middle. And what a chance now to win this match. Well, you just got to sit Thanks. and suffer and hope that you can get back to the table. Willie. At the start of this match, Stephen Maguire was 7-1 to one on, and even when he was 4-3 behind, he was still trading at odds on. He's not odds on now. As you've remarked on a few times, Stephen, he's, he's holding himself together. He doesn't look as though he's going to miss an easy shot. No, he's not getting in perfect position, but he just keeps potting. And that's all you've got to do in the final frame. He's looking at the red and the bulk here, and the bulk cushion. I don't think that's the red to play for at this stage. Looks to have a decent angle in the blue just to follow through and take the white in and out of bulk. 
But I wouldn't be taking reds along cushions at this stage of the final frame. Now you see the angle can follow that cue ball comfortably and miss all the ball colours. Come round the back of the green for a choice of reds here, either side of the pink. Well, he's left himself a red from distance. Now you really got to trust your technique here. Well, it's, it's stood him in good stead so far. And you just feel that one good pot now and good position and the frame and match is at his mercy. And another seed, another well fancied player will be out of the the World Championship. In it goes. Oh, what a, what a flick he's had. He could have been on nothing. And he's flicked the black. Do you believe in fate? Well, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt there. That, that flick looked on to me. The angle he had, it was a natural angle. Fair enough, you don't expect it to be perfect like that, but... Oh, he's getting excited now. See how quickly he jumped off that shot. 55. 54 points to lead, 75 remaining. What that equates to is two reds. And there's one of them, and he's nicely on the black. So this black and one more red for a famous victory. And a real shock. Nobody really saw this coming. Apart from Dechiwat, Boom Jiang, or as he says, call me Jack. What's a moment in his career? Not sure why he's looking at the two reds beside the pink. I don't think there's a pot anywhere, so. Well, does the left hand one of the two reds go to the middle? 63. If it doesn't. What on earth did he play there? No. So, I don't know what he played for, but he's not on anything. He's 62 points in front, but there's 67 remaining. Steve Maguire still has a chance. Yeah, I can only assume he was playing for... A choice of the two reds to the left of the table to the left centre, but didn't get into the cue ball enough. But you think the shot was some way to put one of these reds safe, if he can. Well, is he playing it in the top pocket? This red, he only needs the red. No, he's... He has nudged it to the ball cushion. But he's missed a great opportunity there. Don't get me wrong, he's still a big favourite to win this match. But will he get a better chance than that? How do you fancy one of these reds to the centre? 62 0, 63. One down, 62 points down. In the deciding frame. This is tough. I can't see a safety shot. I suppose the one nearest the left hand cushion, you could play it thinking, well, the only ball you could leave is this one. But as you say, tough pot. As he fluked it, as he fluked it, 
that could have cost him the match. Because the red's on. So close. I've seen him cling to the cushion and drop in, but not this time. So in it goes. And he's coming nicely on the black. So Steve Maguire's dream of becoming a world champion will have to be put on hold for another year. Seventy points the lead, and just fifty-nine remaining. Eight. And what a performance from Deshawat. Nine. Nine eight up. Had to wait all day, thinking about the prospect of possibly winning against one of the top players in the world. He's come back and showed amazing composure. Yes, yeah, so and his opponent in the next round will be 60. young Michael White from Neath. What a contrast of styles that will be. And as I say, so many times Steve Maguire has come to the Crucible semi finalist last year. Lost to Ali Carter. Expecting a lot from him this year, 22. as we've done for many years, but it's a first round exit now. <laughs> applause from the other side, but it would be nothing 26. compared with the applause that will be given to this man on this side of the arena. Well, everything's going in now. He likes the finishing style, doesn't he? He must be absolutely thrilled inside. 32. Well, as I said earlier, Stephen, he, his mentor and a, a guy practicing a lot, James Watanar. He'll be there watching somewhere and uh, he had some great performances at the World Championship. So he had someone to guide him in the right direction, but it's one thing knowing what to do and doing it. And this has 41. been a tremendous performance and what enjoyment he's given everybody who's seen him play in this match. Doesn't matter about the blue, it's the famous victory. Stephen Maguire gives him a warm congratulations and look at the celebrations, a standing ovation. Dechuat Boomjang says, call me Jack. Jack, you're in the second round. Fantastic. He beats Stephen Maguire by 10 frames to 9. Very good, yeah. I believe it. I believe I, it's first time for me, yeah, in the uh, Crucible. Yes. That was uh, 19 hard fought frames, and uh, I just felt I was I was fighting all the way. It was like it was like climbing a mountain at times. Um, everything I done, I just I couldn't get in front, and then when I got in front, you know, the the, the big frame was at six five, and uh, you know I was perfect in the balls, and he was cold, and I fancied. You know, I fancied beating him then because um, I was I was starting to cue well, and I got, you know, I got the biggest kick I've ever seen, and it just changed the whole match, and I think that that cost it in the end.